Okay, here we go. Calcium. Thank you. <laughs> well, we really didn't have to go to all this trouble. Yes. It's important we all have a very good breakfast today. We all? Okay. Oh, yes. Right. Glad you could come. I brought this from Davios. <gasps> Peach trifle. I have been craving that. I know, you said that. Oh, thank you. <clears throat> Wait a minute, why are you being so nice to me? We're about to rip each other apart in court. I can only speak for myself, but I hope there's no ripping of any kind happening. And thank you. Oh, yeah, it's just juice and tea, and I'm getting good at all this domestic stuff. Well, thank you for making this as non-adversarial as possible. Hi. Hey, how are you? What the hell is he doing here? does not need this. I appreciate your support, Noah, but... It's yes, not... but the stress can't be good for the baby. Why don't you take off and we'll meet you in court? Well, I think you've misunderstood. It's not like I suddenly can't stand the sight of Patrick. No, you love him, right? Yes. And all your misgivings are about the fact that you don't believe he really wants to be a father to your child. Correct. That's not exactly true. Well, if Patrick's saying he wants to be a father, he's either lying or he's in denial. You know, where's all this insight coming from? Because it sure wasn't around when I was growing up. And you crawled into a bottle and disappeared altogether. That's exactly my point. Yeah, and it's my point, too. Clearly, Patrick has a lot of unresolved issues with you, and I think Robin would feel a lot more comfortable about having Patrick as a father to her child if you guys could work through some of this anger and resentment. Starting now. My issues with my father have nothing to do with our situation. Yeah, they do. It's about breaking the cycle and learning from the past. Learn from him about being a father? You know, all children blame their parents for some wrongdoing, whether it's real or imagined. I didn't imagine anything. Okay, so your father screwed up. We all screw up. Okay, let me ask you this. How is this whole healing process going to start if you won't even acknowledge what he's done? What? I carry that with me every day in my life. You know what? <sighs> We've reached an equilibrium. It's unstable at best, and I can be with you as a co-worker. I can deal with you taking off to doctors without borders without saying goodbye. But if you start trying to be a father and telling me how much you've suffered over oh, this all this time... no idea. You can't rewrite history. Can you give him a chance, Patrick? You know, my father was a brilliant surgeon, and everybody knew it, especially his family. Unfortunately, we were only window dressing in your all-important career. Okay, maybe this is something that can't be solved no, in one no, no, conversation. No, 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 Patrick's right. It was all about my career, right? And whether you or I like it or not, I am your role model. We are exactly the same, and you'll treat that baby exactly the same as I do. Well, by that logic, I'm destined to become a hack in the OR and a hopeless drunk. And I'm telling you right now, that is not going to happen. I'm talking about being a bad father. I'm not talking about being a drunk. How long do I have to pay for that? You pay? Are you kidding me? You're talking about you paying? Look, I can't change the past. Just stop. It breaks my heart to see you going after each other like that, especially when I'm pregnant with your child and your grandchild. Well, uh, Patrick's right. I mean, we have found a place where we can coexist, but you throw something volatile like this into the and mix you and you will resolve all... it the same way every father and son does around the world. Patrick, your father hurt you, and you have punished him in a thousand different ways. Can we concentrate on what happens now and pass on some hard-earned wisdom to this child? So just move on like nothing happened? Yes. Oh, my God, I've made horrible mistakes. And Robin and I, we talk about it. Yeah, because we love each other. And so do you. You two love each other. Everyone can see it but you. Maybe because you're so alike. <sighs> you're both uh, brilliant and gifted men. And flawed. I mean, don't forget that. And flawed. And wonderful and compassionate. You're forgetting the big one, though. We're, we're both incredibly selfish. You know, I started a family and married Maddie when my career was, was much more important to me. Uh, I led her to believe that we'd be partners, but she was on her own, and she was mother and father because I couldn't be there. I just, I just couldn't commit. And I know you say you want to be part of this baby's life, but being there day to day, it's, you, you, you no more have that in you than I did. 
Get out before you make the same mistakes and you end up with the same self-loathing that I have. Oh, God. I wanted to help you two move forward. I didn't want to open up old wounds. Yeah, well, my father finds ways to inflict new ones. I mean, for him to come in here and tell the mother of my baby that I'm preordained to make the same mistakes, the same failures as him. It was a terrible idea to spring this on the two of you. I, I, I'm, you know, I'm kind of even sorry that I, I ever got on board with you in taking this whole thing to court. So you're gonna take Robin's side now? Now, I just want to stop you two from doing irreparable damage. I mean, I do believe that you want to be a better father than Noah is. And I think that you deserve the chance to try. And I support you in your desire to be part of your child's life. But that is for you and Robin to decide, not for a judge. Hey, we tried. Well, then try harder. Because if you take this into a courtroom, it's Mom. just going to blow out of... Mom! Can I talk to Patrick alone? Please? I'm sorry. I know how much you hate women. When I fight with my dad. You know, there's stuff between kids and their parents, even if you learn to live with it, that never really goes away. But just for the record, I think you're a far better man than Noah gives you credit for. Just not good enough to be the father of my own kid. We don't have to decide anything right now. I think we do. I love you. And I love our kid. That's why I have to go through with this.